Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Denise the Sloth Sewers. It's your girl, Denise. If you're new, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I am so glad that you all are joining me. Thank you to all my subscribers. I truly do appreciate it. My goal is 80 subscribers by July 30th, which is my birthday. Can you help me reach it? Reach it? I truly do appreciate it. All right, in today's video, let me talk about my hands. In today's video, I'm going to take one of my old maxi dress from my closet and I'm going to transform it into a pair of harem pants. So that's my goal is to take my pair, is to take my, uh, ooh, 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 I'm trying to set my hair on father. Anyway, is to take this beautiful maxi dress and upcycle it into a pair. Let me show you what I want to put it on to a pair of harem pants. And these are the ones that I currently own that I actually, I actually thrifted these y'all. It was a thrift. Now, these are not perfect. However, I do, I do like the fact, let me show you down here. I do like the fact that they have the elastic, the elastic portion in the leg. I do like that fact. Oops, sorry y'all. I'm just losing y'all. Hold on, where she go? Oh, okay. Alright. Oh, girl, you got the drops today. This one. Okay, here we go. Back here about somebody. I do like the fact that these pants have elastic in the waist, an elastic waistband, and that it has elastic in the leg portion. I'm loving it on both sides, so... My goal is to use these as a template and put it here and measure it out like that. I will be adding an inch on both sides just to make sure they fit the way I want them to. And also I will be adding, oh, pockets. Pockets is a must. Let me tell you about these pair I thrifted, which is, I'm just making this quick because I can rumble on. It has only one pocket, everybody. Whoever saw this, I guess, you know, I'm not sure. It's just one pocket. That's the uniqueness of the pants. Elephants, that one pocket, nice little drawstring. Will I be replicating the drawstring? I, no. No, I will not. All right, so let's stay tuned. Stay tuned for this flip. Or in this case, this upcycle. Okay, well, the type of material. The material is 100% rayon. This is a 100%, 100% rayon. All right, I purchased this from Walmart years ago. Look at me, I could just show y'all that. 100% rayon. All right, let me decide whether or not I want to de stitch, remove the stitches in this area, or do I just want to kind of cut across and hope that my cut that my cutting is accurate? Let's look at it. Hmm. So I'm gonna think about it. I might want to reuse that top portion though. First, I'm gonna get rid of the tag right here. I will remove this. I will remove the tag. Copy down so y'all can see what I'm doing. I will remove the tag. There we go. I will okay, move everyone. I decided to remove the stitches from the top so I can use, hopefully, utilize all of this fabric for my pants. That's my goal. To be hopeful that it turns out the way I expect it to. Now I am going to probably, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm gonna reuse this on something else. I may add another fabric to it and do that. That would be that would be another episode. Right now, my whole concern is getting this fabric. That's how I care about. Let me get this fabric out. All right, everyone. Now, um, I know you're gonna be like, when I'm done, did you just butcher that fabric? Yeah, yeah. But we gonna we gonna clean it up. I clean it up, not we, but I will clean it up to the best of my abilities. Look at that. I put I had to put that on plural. Cut uh, struggle may be real. All right, enough rambling. Let me get back to it. All right, so so far. I'm successfully, turn around so you can see, able to make a little bit of it happen. I love the fabric because it, it's so forgiving. 
Because she's going to need a lot of forgiveness on there at times. Disregard that child. I'm just running my mind. What are y'all currently working on? Have you ever done an upcycle before taking something like this as a um, maxi dress and transforming it to something else? If you have and you have pictures, please share. I'm just curious of what else you could do with maxi dress. Inch to it. this extra here, but I will use the little cut area like that. And I might drop the crotch just a little bit more to see what kind of effect it creates. So I took it so that it hangs off because I'm going to use something else for waistband. Well, first, let's get back to the pants. Sorry about it. So we're looking at. Now, before I cut, I'm going to use one of my heat eraser pens and I'm going to just kind of trace the area of where I would like the crotch to drop. Maybe I would iron these with maybe different colors. So. All right, so let's see here. Gonna be a rough, rough sketch. So I do not want to add some extra. That's not gonna work. I would like to add some extra space. So I probably take it from here like an inch over. So I'm actually, I'm gonna see what this consists of, and then I'm gonna make it go around like that. Then how many inches, y'all? I'm sorry. I'm going off the plow how, how I would like it. So no drawings, no nothing. So I do know I wanted another. Let's make it two inches. Baby, can you got me some on my pivot? Let me tell you something. Here we go. Not doing time. Like, I know I had some, some chalk. Try to tell us chalk, make it yellow. Then I gotta take a break here, everybody, for lunch. Oh, that's what I was doing. I don't know. Because when I do the elastic, I just kind of want a little crazy. A little uniqueness. Let's make it three inches since I said that. Three. In a minute, I'll show you all what I'm doing. What I just did was I took the pants and I made a yellow mark on it. You all probably cannot see it, but I made this little yellow line that I'm kind of using. Cut it out to see what I get. So you can see. Okay. Let's see what I get. These are my Harbor, Harbor Freight special. Thanks to my husband. I call that the, um, I thought, I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. I am going to go kind of like this. Then I'm going to get my small one. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna turn it like a poopy. Oh, like a poopy. Like a poopy. Like a poopy. Okay. To give you all an idea of what I was doing, check it out. Move the rule so you can see. So I knew that these pants, this the black, the elephant pants here, are kind of tight in the um that area right here so i decided if i give it a little bit more room maybe it'll do what i need it to do and i want to keep the hem here because it's so nice that i just want to use that with the elastic so i'm going to see how this goes so stay tuned So once you're finished, it should look, once you're done, it should look something like this. All right, so I'm going to give myself a little idea on how it's going to look. Will I want the crotch to go further or not? So now I'm going to try it on, although it doesn't have a waistband. Damn humongous, but I want to gather this portion to put under the waistband or use a shirt. Trying to figure that out, I'm going to fold it over with some elastic in it. That might be it, fold over. Add waistband to it. I don't know yet, y'all. Stay tuned. Hardware store, all I did was wrap them in fabric, but that's pretty cool. It's like a little decorative thing if you want to. It's not that serious, as long as you got something way down. The items that you need. Go ahead and cut it. I'm gonna like that. Trying to change my blade. She, she's struggling. Struggle is real there, right? Struggle. I'm about this and see. And if you wonder what I'm using, I'm using an old, um, I'm using a flat sheet. I probably more accurate cut, but this fabric is like no man. I don't want nothing to do with this. All right, continue to cut out the pattern. So 
save my S's. Go away, this. I cleaned it up just a little bit. She looked rough right there, y'all. She looked rough. All right, so that's it and done. Take my tracing wheel. Put some indentations in this bad boy. And all I'm doing is tracing around the pattern. One of the pocket patterns that I kind of use on everything. I'm going to go ahead and use my heat erasable pen. Put a little dot here. A little dot here. I'm going to go through. Perfect. Move this off. Look at that. I already have it. Those little dashes to remind me. Oh, okay. Of where to stitch. So when you're done, you should have something like this. And that's just this pattern. Just cut four. Now I'm about to mark where I want my pockets. I put the pants back on. I try them on again. I'm just lining up my pocket where they begin, where they start, and where they end. That determine I had a little bit more. That determine where I need to open the side seams. That's my goal. Why they open my side seams? Let me get rid of my protrusions in. Alright. Alright, these are going to be inseam pockets. Therefore, I have two each. Two each are just together. Okay, so. Sorry about that, y'all. All right. I'm going to go ahead and remove my little safety pin so I can kind of go ahead and access the side seams. I worry about the waistband. All right, everyone. This is the final reveal. I'm going to show you this part. I thought these were pretty cool to do. Now, I am a little disappointed with the pockets because they're not stitched exactly like I want them, but I think it's pretty cool now if you look at them. I can get them to go the right way. If you look at them, oh, this one is humongous. Look how it's sticking out. But anyway, this is the reveal, y'all. My version of the Harlem pants. Got a little crotch right there. You turn around. Okay, you almost got like a little fit right there in just the front. Then I got if I want to wear it high waisted, several different ways to wear. Well, everyone, I hope you have enjoyed this video of me transforming my dress. I'll provide a picture of the before, turn them into these amazing harem, harem pants. I'm like, yes, with hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on with pockets because i normally don't add pockets because i'm still trying to perfect the pockets can you tell anybody know what I, what i need to do to fix this here about to put that like that huh i don't know but bam in results step back i'm probably doing something solid a solid color top Okay. I like them. Just begging though. All right, y'all. Once again, thank you all for watching. Hey, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. My goal is 80 subscribers by my birthday, July 30th. Come on, everybody. And if you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. I would truly appreciate it. And if you have not subscribed, consider subscribing. And to all my return of viewers, thank you all for joining me again. And welcome, new viewers. I hope you consider subscribing. I don't know how many times I'm going to say subscribing, but hey, welcome. My motto is keep trying until you get it right. Denise the Sloth Soas out. Bye-bye, everybody. Thanks for watching.